Today I'm going to show you how can you get the cursor position, detect the cursor position, mouse cursor position onto the canvas. So to do it, I've simply created a simple HTML document, and inside it I've created a canvas element onto which we are going to detect the cursor position. And uh, so I have given it an ID of canvas. Let's go inside the JavaScript. I have already connected a link to the index.js to the index.html so that whatever we write inside the index.js index will automatically applicable for the index.html file. I'm going to simply use the window.onload so that the function will be executed after the window or the document is fully loaded. Then I'm going to can say save the canvas element inside this variable so document dot get element by id canvas alright then I'm gonna grab the context 2d context of this canvas element with the 2d context then I'm gonna just add a listener to the canvas the listener would be mouse move and I'm gonna add it like this so that we get the event E and get the mouse cursor position and then I'm gonna save the X position inside the X where X is equal to event dot client X and y is equal to event dot client y it's done now and then i can just console dot log it x comma y let's see if it works and it doesn't and we're gonna see what is missing inside it Showing some error. Get context is called right to canvas. Yeah, it is working right now. So you can see whenever I move the cursor, it will give me the global location of it. Then you can also view the coordinates inside. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get it back. What you can just say is you can just get the position of the canvas element also position and its width and height and the global position of it inside the HTML form by just storing canvas position is equal to the canvas dot get boundary client right so it will grab all the information about canvas position then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab both of them and where x will be event dot light x minus can because dot left I will explain it so first of all I'm gonna write and max dot round it I'm gonna do the same with it math.round minus canvas pause dot top so what we are basically doing here is we just let's assume let's just make you the color of the canvas canvas dot style dot background color will be rgb 30 sorry i want to give it 80 comma 80 comma 80 so it will be more visible 
this is the context all right so if it is not right here if it is right like right here then if we add event list and mouse mouse move then we gonna not get the global coordinates the coordinates of this canvas we're gonna get the global coordinates of the whole HTML form so if it is like here like uh, 100 pixel from here 100 pixel to so this corner will not be 0 0 it will be 100 comma 100 so to fix it this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab the global coordinate minus the canvas position so if canvas is like 100 pixel downwards then uh, if I move mouse cursor right here at this corner so this corner will be, corner will be here so 100 minus 100 will be 0 so we will be getting getting the 0th coordinate 0 value for this order because it is right here at 100 push so this is the simple math we are going to use and then we are going to print it so how we are going to print it there are so, so there are so many methods but I am going to use the first of all I am going to clear right from 0, 0 to width 0, 0 to width comma height so I have not specified the width and height I am going to specify them right here so height is equal to canvas dot height is equal to I am going to give it like 500 and the uh, I'm gonna use comma here so I don't need to write pair again and again and width is equal to canvas dot width is equal to 500 now you can see that style has been changed if I wanna print it then context dot fill text I'm gonna fill this text at uh, string will be x is uh, like x because we can simply use comma and y space here is y comma I should use plus because there are so many other complements arguments also so x number will be 10 and it will be 20 so th these will be the coordinates where it will be showing inside the context so you can see right here that we can see the coordinates where the mouse cursor right now is so that's all guys for today's video see you guys in the next video